IDA clinic. My name is Tom Cronin. I'm the president of the Northwest District Bandmasters. And on behalf of IBA, please help me in welcoming Chad Criswell from Altoona. He's the IBA technology chair here to talk about interactive whiteboards. Today is going to be an exercise in uh, experimentation. In front of you, you see a whole bunch of different electronic whiteboards, some that you don't even see, some that are actually up here on the table that are on little gizmos, and I'm going to show you in a little bit. What I want you to know is, at any point, any of the stuff that I brought with me may totally go kaflui, because it was never intended to have four or five different pieces of software loaded onto the same computer um, doing the exact same thing. Essentially, I've got five different mouses plugged into this one computer. I've got two different, three different mice plugged into this one. So who knows what's going to happen, but it all worked at home last night, so it should be good today. We'll see. Um, you got a packet when you came in the door. I'm hoping everybody got one. It looks like we may have a few more people than what I was expecting, but if you didn't get one, I I'm going to put this stuff up on uh, my website, which is musicatmagic.com. There's a little card back there, so if you didn't get one of these packets, you can go up there after you get home tonight, download it, print it, and use it as you wish. Okay, so to tell you a little bit about what all we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first part, of, it's supposed to be a 90-minute session, okay? Now, in case you didn't know that, I'll tell that to you right now. It's supposed to be a 90-minute session. Um, you don't have to stay for the entire thing. I know that there are other sessions that start up at 9.30 and a little bit later than that. If you need to go to one of those, you know, I totally understand. The first 20, 25 minutes or so is going to be a little presentation about making the case and finding the funding, telling you what you can and cannot do with these interactive whiteboards, and then a, a brief statement of where you might be able to come up with some funding that maybe you hadn't thought of. Because a lot of people, when they start to buy these or think about buying one of these for the classroom, the first thing is, how am I going to come up with that much money? How can I justify it with my school board and with my principal? The second part of it is going to be a little bit of a demo here. I'm going to show you how each one of these different systems works. We've got the smart board. We've got an Epson 450 WI Brightly projector over here. I want to thank Chloe and Sean back here for bringing these things in and setting them up this morning. They left their cards over there on the table. They also have their contact information on the bottom of the back page of the packet. So if you have any questions about those two products or a few of the others, I know that they also sell a few other brands as well, then you can give them a call and uh, ask anything you want of them. I'm sure they'd be glad to talk to you. We're going to demonstrate the smart board, the Epson. We've also got uh, a very homebrew Wiimote whiteboard. All right, if you have a Wii, Nintendo Wii entertainment system at home, that's the remote control off of it. You can turn uh, one of those Wii boats into an entire whiteboard system for about 100 bucks. But trust me, there's some kinks with it, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. We've got a Mimeo. Uh, these are very popular these days, especially in my school district. We've also got something called a Quizdom Presenter tablet up here that I'm going to show you. And uh, a few of you that were brave enough I handed out a few of these earlier. These are some uh, remotes that we're going to use to take a little vote a little bit later. Show you a little bit of that stuff. All right, so let's get started. 